You are a new stylist and you are pretty confused on how to start your career, what directions to go, and exactly what you should be doing in order to start a successful styling career. Well, since I've been a stylist for the past 15 years and I styled top celebrities, advertising campaigns, editorials, and I also styled my personal clients, in this video I will tell you exactly what you should do in order to start a successful styling career. Hi, my name is Basha Richard and I help a aspiring stylist and the styling industry, grab my free cheat sheet guide with tons of free resources for aspiring stylists. I will get you started. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is every Monday. In this video, we'll talk about what you need to know in order to move on from a new stylist to a successful stylist. So let's get started. So first things first, you made the decision that styling career is the right career for you. Now what? Well, we need to start with what type of stylist do you want to become? So some of you might be uh, thinking, I want to become a stylist, but within a stylist career, there are so many directions that you can go. So let me explain exactly what does it mean, okay? So I have this graph I'm gonna show you now. And so here, to make it a little bit easier for me to really explain exactly what I mean. So we have a fashion stylist on the left, then we have a personal stylist in the middle and the celebrity stylist on the right. So let's go through all those careers so you can understand how different they are. And first we're gonna start with a fashion stylist. Now a fashion stylist is a consultant who selects the clothing for published editorial features, print or television advertising campaigns, music videos, e-commerce and runway shows. So a fashion stylist will style model, or like a celebrity from magazines, advertising, commercials, and etc. Okay, so now a fashion stylist will create looks according to direction that are coming from a magazine editor, a producer, or advertising agency. Now, the next thing is the location. In order to work as a fashion stylist and have a successful career, you should live in New York City since that's the fashion capital. Now, in Europe, you should be in London, Paris, or Milan, as well as live in capital, uh, capitals of other European countries. Now, the most important thing is to remember that you have to live in a fashion city. Now, let's talk about a personal stylist. Now, a personal stylist offers advice on trend style, colors, body shapes, and works with individual clients. A personal stylist will help upgrade wardrobe and will style current wardrobe and will work with regular people. So essentially everyone will be able to hire a personal stylist and get customized advice and tips. So now the difference between a fashion stylist and a personal stylist is when it comes to where you should live in order to work as a personal stylist. Now a personal stylist can live anywhere to have a successful career as long as there are people who will need your help. Now let's um, let's last career is a, a celebrity stylist. Now again this career is somewhat similar to a fashion stylist and a personal stylist but again it's a little bit different path when it comes to becoming a celebrity stylist. Now a celebrity stylist is a consultant who selects the clothing for the celebrity clients and will dress them and work on many different projects like publish editorial features, print or television advertising campaigns, music videos, and public appearances like red carpet events. Now, they will also dress their clients for any personal outing. That's why I said that this career path is somewhat similar to a fashion stylist and a personal stylist. Now, the most important fact is that you can't really become a celebrity stylist unless you live in Los Angeles or like New York City. New York City is a little smaller market, but you can still work as a celebrity stylist if you live in New York City. Now, in Europe, you should live in country's capital and you will be working with local celebrities. Now, let's look at all those three career choices. The most important thing is, can you work as a personal stylist, a fashion stylist, and a celebrity stylist at the same time and have many different clients? Absolutely. 
Should you start with all three career choices? Absolutely not. And here is why. The path to become a personal stylist and a fashion stylist is completely different. Now, as a personal stylist, you are working with a regular people and helping them upgrade their current wardrobe. So you are dressing people and have to keep in mind their lifestyle, their career style, taste, body shapes, etc. Now, as a fashion stylist, you are creating looks for fashion magazines or like advertising campaigns. And what a model things about your clothing and style choices is completely irrelevant. By styling for magazines, you are essentially creating looks um, for a consumer to purchase it. Now, when you're styling for like an advertising campaign, you're supporting a product that this commercial is trying to sell with the wardrobe you chose. So that's why those are completely two different career choices. Now, a celebrity stylist does a little bit of both because a celebrity stylist will style their client for an editorial advert or advertising job and has to follow direction from an editor or like advertising agency but at the same time has to remember that their client might not like certain looks and has to be diplomatic and make sure that a magazine is happy with their styling as well as their celebrity clients. Now the last thing is that you have to remember is the path to enter those styling careers and the road to enter those styling careers is a little bit different as well. As a fashion stylist, you have to start with internships. That's the fastest way to get your foot in the door. Now, if you are thinking about spending time studying fashion styling for the next like five years, honestly, I think it's just a waste of your time. Not that studying doesn't make any sense, it totally does. But in reality, a lot of schools will teach you like history of fashion, some elements of merchandising, and what you really need to know is how to do all those jobs, where to find clients and how to start a business with internships, and the internships will give you this experience you really need. Now, as a personal stylist, you don't need to intern as stylist in order to enter the styling industry. Um, and you uh, just need to get like a mentor who will tell you exactly what to do, how to create services, price it, find clients, etc. Now, as a celebrity stylist, the best way to enter the industry is by interning a celebrity stylist. Forget about the school, it won't really help you one bit in becoming a celebrity celebrity stylist. What you want to do is to get your hands on experience and intern a stylist so you understand how this industry works. Now, let's. the most important thing is let's look at the graph first and let's think about um, which career choice is right for you. Now, if you live, let's say, in San Diego, maybe in San Francisco, well, then you should choose a personal styling career. If you live in New York City, you can pick between a personal styling career and fashion styling career. Regardless, don't think that you can do all three when you are just starting. You will be so confused and won't be able to be successful. Start with one, perfect it, get experience, pay your dues when you already know that industry and have been working with clients for a while, then you can think about the next career choice and see if you will be able to work as a fashion stylist and also as a personal stylist. But like I said, start with one and that's the best way to become a successful stylist. So now you know exactly uh, what to do when you are a new stylist and you want to become a successful stylist. Now, if you want to learn more, don't forget to grab my free cheat sheet guide with tons of free resources that's gonna get you started. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is every Monday. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.